Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. I need your help with something. I've been having a problem with Lightroom Classic and the desktop version of mobile Lightroom. I've reported this as a bug to Adobe, but the problem is it seems to be computer specific. I have this problem on my iMac, but I do not have the problem on my MacBook. Now I know it's not specific just to my computer, because I have had two different people email me telling me that they're experiencing the same issue. So what I'd like to do is show you what the problem is and then ask you to test it on your computer. And if you're having the same issue, if you could, in the comments section below, give me some information about your computer. What kind of computer is it? What operating system you're using? Microprocessor and graphics card or graphics processor. I kind of think it's graphics card or graphics processor related, but I'm not 100% sure. What I want to do is get as much information as possible, then forward that to Adobe so they could uh, more properly address the issue. Now, if you don't want to comment, you are welcome to email me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com and let me know if you're having the same issue. Okay, the problem, as I mentioned, has to do with Lightroom Classic and the desktop, desktop version of mobile Lightroom. I'm in Lightroom Classic right now. Um, when you have an image with a person in it, masking works fine. But if you have more than one person in the photo, there's a problem with masking. Let me show you. Obviously, there's two people in this stock image. If I go to masking, it's going to detect the people. And it does this every single time with every single file type, meaning it doesn't matter if it's a JPEG like this image is, or a Nikon RAW file, a Canon RAW file, Fuji RAW file, DNG file, a PSD file, a TIFF file. It does it with all file types. And you see it detected only one person. And if I hover over that, you'll see most of the image has a red overlay on it. Now, if you've not used masking or people masking in Lightroom, what it's supposed to do is have three different little circles here. The first circle is both people. The second circle will be person one and the third circle will be person two. So you could do edits on one person exclusive of the other person. Now, in this case, it's just showing person one. And if I click on it, you'll see that it finds facial skin, but it's facial skin for both people, body skin for both people, eyebrows for both people, sclera for both people and so on and it doesn't matter as i mentioned um what type of file it is anything here's another stock image you could see again it just found one person i hover on this one it looks like everything's red i'll click on it you could see facial skin all three uh, body skin all three eyebrows all three and so on i'll go to one final one here and same thing it's going to detect people and it's one person again, and you can see most of the image has the red overlay. Again, same exact thing. So it does this consistently. Now I could sit, take these same exact three stock photos into um, my, or use them in my, or with my uh, MacBook Pro, which has like an M2 Max or something chip in it. And that works fine. It works perfectly fine there. It's only on this, um, iMac. Now in the description of this video, I'll have some uh, info about my iMac, what processor I'm using, what graphics card, and so on. And then test it when you have time, any image that has more than one person in it, and see if you're experiencing the same problem. And if you are, if you could, let me know in the comments or email me and let me know what type of computer you're using, operating system, um, version of operating system, a uh, graphics card, microprocessor, you could throw in anything you think is pertinent, memory, anything. Add that all, uh, you know, as mo the more information, the better. And then I'll uh, forward that to Adobe. And don't worry, I won't use your name unless you want me to specifically say your name, maybe your email address, so they could contact you if they need to, because you, I'm sure, want to have this problem fixed as well. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you could help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.